In this design tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a super simple throttle design. So hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do the super simple throttle design. I've actually did this design for my third channel which is basically a bike channel. It's all about bikes, motocross, enduro, all of that great stuff. So yeah, if you're into that as well, click right here on the subscribe button and yeah, you can subscribe to my bike channel as well which is called Throttle. Alright, so let's get started right away. As you guys can see already on the right hand side here, I've already got a few groups open, so just the text and background. Let's start right away fresh with a white canvas. Now for all the newcomers here who don't know how to work with Photoshop, go onto my channel. I've created another tutorial there teaching you how to create canvas sizes and also get started. It's super simple, just go to File, New, and you will be brought to a preset screen here where you can adjust everything, hit OK, and you are ready to go. Now for the first step that I want to do is basically create just a bit of a gray background here for my image actually. So we're going to select the marking tool I'm going to make a nice big selection around this and first of all inside of the selection I'm going to hit right click now but before I do so I just want to create a new empty layer here. From down here create a new empty layer and that's just going to be my color background. Okay so let's rename that capital letter on there, that's alright, you guys get the point. I'm just rushing through this and also showing this a bit quicker. So again, right click over here, fill this again with under condensed area with a color. Now as well, from the color picker, I want to go with a complete dark, not a black black, but a dark gray. I'm going to hit OK and OK again and right away we have a dark background. Great. I'm going to press Command D to get out of the selection. I'm working with the Mac. If you're a Windows user, please press Control when I say Command. Okay, so that was basically the first step. Now what I did is went back online and searched a bit on Google and I've also found a pretty cool uh, motocross image over here which I want to drag out quickly just to show it to you guys. So this is what it looks like originally under normal so it's a pretty bright layer and also a white, black and white image over here. So again I drag that into Photoshop right onto the layer as you guys can see it's a little bit bigger if I'm going to press command T. So we get into the transform mode you guys can see it's a bit bigger so I stretched it a bit yeah, but it sits perfectly. Okay, I'm going to accept that and now as well what I'm going to do is zoom in again with Z and first of all I want to take down that opacity a little bit because if we have a logo on top now it's just going to stand out too much. So I'm going to take down the opacity a little bit more, somewhere around 40%. Let's have a look. Yeah, 42%. So the gray also comes through. Great. So it's a little bit dimmer now because I don't want to blur it now. I want to have this bike having it super sharp in the background. Then as well, also over here again another layer that I want to show you guys which I dragged in again from Google. Also I just searched again for a few lines and this is what I found and they don't need to be high quality. They look a little bit blurry so that's fine already. I just drag that layer again into Photoshop, place it right on top which I'm going to do over here. And as well now for the next step that I want to do is because it's obviously black and white, I just want to take the opacity all the way down a bit. But it's nice that it actually has a bit of black and white in it because now this background image will get a little bit of a lighter pop again. So taking the opacity all the way down to like a 10% maybe, so you guys can see the lines are still there, but very subtly. You guys can also give that another blur if you want, just don't over blur this. Also have a look, again I've created another tutorial before you use these Photoshop filters that you convert your layers again to smart objects so you can work a little bit more constructive. As well this is under a shorties tutorial. Great, so we're going to turn this off and this is so far our background that we have for our throttle logo. Great, then as well what I'm going to do is take the text tool over here and as well you can find it on the left side. I'm going to make a nice big selection over here and I'm just going to write throttle. Great, so I forgot the right font selected already. I can select all of it and as well here change my size a bit. As well you guys can find this font down below in the description. It's called and then it ends. Okay, I'm going to accept that again. As well just have a look quickly here how I did that before. I wrote this actually with a capital letter so it stands out a bit more and I'm going to do the same process as well. So let's turn that off and the other one on. And again over here with the text tool I'm just going to select the first T 
and make it a capital T over here. So throttles so far. Great, also the size looks good. I'm gonna go to the character box over here on the right hand side, check that my tracking is set to zero, so it's not all the far out. Okay, so we can set that back to zero. If you don't have the character box, please head over to window and select character box over here. Great, so again, I'm gonna accept that from the top and I can move that all the way down. Now I'm gonna try to position that somewhere in the center. And now what I still want to do is obviously add a bit of a slogan again. So again, take the text tool, I'm gonna to make a bit of space here and I'm gonna write now always on the edge, but I'm also going to do that in capital letters. So again, I'm gonna write here always on the edge as well going to select the whole font here and going to select my new font, which is Helvetica Neue again. And I'm also gonna make this a bit bigger, set this here back to zero so everything is back to normal and I'm going to accept it. So first of all, I'm gonna move it over here Okay, try to find the right size for this font. Again, select it, and as we're going to make the font a little bit smaller. Okay, and we typed here, always on the edge, or living on the edge, something around that. And I'm gonna take the tracking again, and now play it all the way out, until we reach the end. Okay, a little bit more, maybe 1,040 or something, accept it from the top. Also take the move tool, and just place it somewhere over here. So again, you've got your main title over here, basically the brand or the logo, whatever you have, and as well at the bottom, a little slogan as well. So yeah, that's basically it. Just a super quick tutorial teaching you guys how to do this throttle design. It's super easy and it's right away also able now to be used as an intro or something for a video format as well. If you're going to turn off the background here, obviously this is now the background white, if you want to invert it, you guys can also use this font right away for video stuff. I can maybe just take both of these fonts and just move it a bit into the center. You guys can also use some guidelines again to place this a little bit more into the center. Yeah, great. So that's basically it for this quick tutorial, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button. Share it with all your buddies who are new to this. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you're into motocross and motorbikes, also check out my new channel, which is called throttle so yeah thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next tutorial bye bye